This is Jason from MrBigMan.com uh, Here today just to show you very quickly how to build a tractor remix set uh, I'm going to do that with one of my own in Ghost I'm just going to set that up now And we can find the, all of the parts for it So the way to, to build a remix set You'll see that up here This is a remix set as a set up within tractor In order to get the change in decks uh, you simply just have to go to the marker at the top here where it says C or A, B, C or D in regards to the track deck and just click on it and you'll see this little menu and the menu will have remix deck in it. You just select that and up comes this. So before we start we want to set the default tempo. Uh, default tempo for the ghost track is 125. Um, so I'm just going to do that here. You'll see it if you just double click and type in the tempo. And you'll see that that's automatically defaulted to there. Um, I'm then going to start dragging in the sounds. Now to start off with, it's really important to understand how a remix stack is set up. It's got four unique columns and then it's got um, 16 different slots within those particular columns. Um, so you've got to break up your track whenever you're kind of mixing down the different loops and different sounds in order to fit in with the four main groups. Usually mine are drums, bass, synths and synth leads or guitars or something along that lines that's kind of in the forefront and then vocals and effects. Um, now those can all be set up as either loops or one shots as you'll see in a moment. So I'm just going to drag the first set of the drums out to let you hear it. And you simply just do that. You drag it from your um, browser directly into one of the sample slots. If I press on this button, it should start a playing. And there you go, and that's pretty much it. Now we can choose whether this is a one shot. So at this current state, it will stop at the end of this um, 16 bar loop. Probably the best thing for this type of sound is to set it to sync and to set it to the continually uh, loop over. How you do that is down in the bottom corner here. You'll see the um, arrow button, which is the same as the arrow here. Uh, in order to change that, just click this button and you'll see it changes the a loop. And you can see up here that it changes the loop as well. So that will continually play over and over again. Now, what the last thing that we need to check for each sample before we continue on to the next one is that their default tempo is set correctly. Now, you can see here uh, it's detected correctly that the tempo is 125, so therefore there's no issue. But if this comes in, um, for example, when I was doing the B-side um, creation of Remix, um, it was coming in at loads and loads of different tempos because of the breakbeat angle of it and, and Tractor didn't really do a good enough job of actually pulling in um, the correct tempo. So it's the same again. You can just double click on it and just set the master tempo against that um, but we'll just leave it at 125. I'm just going to leave you now to finish off this particular pack and then we're going to come back and we're going to look at how to set the uh, artwork and then how to save it out as an actual track file from there. Okay, so now I've got it uh, built up and it's all set up with the right tempo and everything's working correctly. Um, first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to name it. Uh, you just literally just double click here um, and it should hopefully allow you. And I'm just going to name it Ghost. And you see that's named there. So all we need to do now is basically export this into our um, DA or into the actual library itself. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save it out into the library. And you'll see that here. It says save remix set. So if I click on that, it should save it with a gtoot host. And if I go into my actual track collection, so that's here, and scroll to the very bottom. 
you'll find it here. So it's it's right here, um, which is great. Now there's a couple of things that we want to do at this stage. You want to set up the artwork for it. So again, we right click on the actual um, track collection itself. And you'll see here it says import cover. I'm just going to do that now quickly because I've got the cover saved um, in my Dropbox. And you'll see now at the top here the artwork that I've chosen has um, been created in the box. Then the last thing that we need to do now is just simply save uh, the track file. So I'm going to do that now by right clicking. And then export remix set. Once I do this, this will save the actual remix set. I'll make it available for me to um, go ahead and send out to people. And uh, go from there, and and that's pretty much it. Why not subscribe to us on YouTube? Or give us a thumbs up for this video. Leave us a comment. Your feedback is valuable. simply visit mrthebigman.com